Hi. Well, I have one of my unpopular opinions today. I've been thinking for a very long time on whether I should express this, and I have decided I should. Um, before I begin, I want to make sure that uh, people do not take what I have to say out of context. Um, it uh, It's not that I'm against what any of you do personally. Um, it just feels like something really important to say. And you can take from it what you will. It, it won't matter in the end. It, it, it really doesn't. It's nothing worth getting into a fight about, that's for sure. I don't like drugs. But with the legalization of marijuana in some states and how finally the prohibition of the drug is being released and things are finally getting lax so that people can oh, be free in America and make their own choices just a little bit. Um, no! Um, you know, I've noticed a lot of people coming forward with, well, you know, it's, 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 it's this wonderful thing, it's this cure-all. Uh, I, I, uh, I don't agree. This vlog uh, has a story about why I don't agree. Uh, a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit of my experience and uh, where I stand. Let's start first with marijuana in itself. It is the most natural drug on the planet, everyone says. And it probably is. Except for the, the kind where they put rat poison on it and detergent and other stuff so that it's really not that natural. It just depends on who you get it from. Uh, it is indeed a very beneficial medicinal herb. It helps cancer patients get through chemo, helps people heal. I have personally completely no problem with someone who wants to go out and get high. I feel that it is your body. It is your temple. You treat your temple how you desire. It is your wish. Uh, I feel that the legalization of marijuana is a really, really good thing. You know, um, we all should have the choice as adults paying our taxes, you know, to do with our lives and risk our lives or not risk our lives however we please without infringing upon the rights and beliefs of others. <sighs> the reason why I'm addressing it here though is there is this rumor that's been going around. Uh, Kathy O'Brien is one of the ones that actually backed this up. You can agree with me or not on this. This this is not open for debate. Okay, I will not debate you on this. You can believe what you will. But the, the rumor is that smoking marijuana ends the mind control. This is hard. All right, so it stops mind control. Let's look at this logically. Okay. Marijuana is a drug that numbs you. Your, your reflexes get slower. You know, you can, you can go, but this study says that's a lie all you want. I've actually seen it for myself. Your reflexes get slower and uh, you basically become a lot more peaceful, which is why it's considered the peaceful drug and a bit more complacent. Oh, you still have the awareness to say, no, man, I'm not going to rob that, that jewelry store. No, man, no, man, that's not for me. But then there's all of the subconscious stuff that we're bombarded with day in and day out with the media and radio and radio towers and cell phone towers and, and hidden propaganda in magazine ads and even on cars sometimes. And when you're slowed down and your subconscious is stripped of the active mind which acts as a shield to help you process everything that's around you and all that mind control is saturating you how in the world does taking something that slows you down in the mind control um, case in point when you are in the program and you become aware enough like I did to fight back like I did a little bit they don't just stop picking you up they put you in deeper. They give you stronger drugs. They push you down. They use stronger hypnosis. They make you forget more. They, they tighten up the bonds. And so you think you broke free, but if you dig a little bit, you didn't really because they wanted you to think it stopped and did not want you to remember. So you're telling me that taking this drug that is slowing down your ability to defend yourself on a mental capacity is ending the mind control and that's not true. All it's doing is numbing you down. 
this is what I meant by it's an unpopular opinion. There are people out there that, are, that, that might see this that are going to get all upset and defensive and rail and raise their fist and shake it and be all angry and upset. And you can do that if you want. If you want to keep doing that, if you want. But I feel that if you're going to light up, you should at least be educated. Why do you think you get high? Because it's killing your brain cells. And you forget things. You literally forget things. In some cases, forever. Up until I was in my 20s, I was really proud of one thing. I could recall the technical basics on how to build a Stargate. I was really proud of that because I knew that I had worked on a Stargate, uh, one of the early ones, the prototypes, and I don't know what I did. I do remember that a lot of people died in it. But I could remember the technical side uh, how it works, the theory, how it connected, things you had to be careful of. Um, I wouldn't say I was like this, you know, super, super duper scientist about the matter, but I had some pretty good technical details in my head. And then when I was in my 20s, uh, the husband I had at, at the time was really into smoking and we would invite people over and just sit around the house being idiots, you know, getting stoned. And uh, I'm young, I'm dumb, I'm trying to please people. I, I didn't at once consider my, you know, my environment, which I later started to do and soon learned who was really my friend. And uh, we were sitting around in the living room one day. And uh, we're sitting there and nobody's really talking. And I'm just sitting there and suddenly I started to remember the Stargate situation so I started to tell them hey look this is how it works and I told them a lot I lectured I pulled up facts and details that I I didn't even know I had at the time completely went through from step one to the end step on how to build a Stargate I have never been able to recall a single thing about it since uh, not even the details that I could pull up for that moment Directly after that, whenever I sobered up, didn't even have to go to quote unquote work or anything. I lost the information. It was gone forever. And I do mean gone forever. It's been 20 years and I still can no longer recall it. It is gone. Now, I'm not going to argue the medical applications of marijuana and how it has helped cancer patients. I mean, it can be a good thing. Hemp is definitely could be a very good thing. But I do know that day, the brain cells containing, containing the information about Stargates and my head died. And their last dying gasp was me telling a story to these people who couldn't have cared less. That looked at me like I was insane on how to build a Stargate. I gave a several hour long lecture. It wasn't even recorded. It was gone forever and now I cannot get it back. But, you know, coming back to personal freedom of choice, if you want to do it, do it. Um, every time someone gets so defensive and crazy and defending their right on, on marijuana use, you just look like a child is clinging to a toy that doesn't want to admit the toy pricked their finger. You know, if you're going to be an, a responsible adult and take a risk for your body and your health, whether you feel it is good or whether you feel it is bad, whatever, you know, reason that you are doing this thing, you should do it one, informed from both sides of the argument, make up your mind from both sides of the argument, be willing to listen to both sides of the argument, and uh, understand that some people who have had experience are going to look at the effects of that experience and decide, you know, I don't think I like forgetting how to build a Stargate so much. I don't think I like that I was really dumbed down and easy to push around back then. I just, I don't think I like the fact that when I was doing it, that was an incredibly active period in my life. I was getting picked up a lot. I had people coming to my front door. I was sent to you because they want you back. That's what one said, quote unquote, you know. And 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 even and and he is the one that brought the drug to me. I wasn't even on anything, but the activity increased when I was handed the drug. So yeah, about that. I had spent a period of low activity, and then uh, I met someone who said to me that I needed to return to the activity and handed me the drug. 
So where did it end the mind control exactly? Okay. Now, mind you, if I ever came down with cancer, I would probably be willing to light up to, to lessen the effects because medicine is medicine, you know, and, and you do what is good for you. But right now, the way I stand, cancer-free and uh, with, a, with a quick act of mind and, and an act of life and energy, I'm content not to light up. I am content to work on being free in a free manner in what I feel, feel is a way that is not enchained. And that's just how I feel about it. It's just something that it's just part of the argument that needed to be said. What you do is your own life, your own choice. Don't condemn me for not wanting to get high. It's also my choice. I'm just not making the same one you would.